In question 5a, we're to show that the volume of the sample of conducting putty is about 1.9 times 10 to the minus 5 cubic metres. Well, volume is mass over density. And the mass is 100 grams or 0 0.100 kilograms. The density is 5,300. And this gives a figure of 1.89 times 10 to the minus 5 cubic meters which is around 1.9 times 10 to the minus 5 cubic meters as required. In B part 1 we're to suggest why the student has used large metal plates at the ends of the conducting putty. Well this will be to ensure that the whole area of the end is in contact. In part two, we're to describe how they can check the diameter of the conducting putty is constant. Well, they could do a check in several places using a vernier caliper. In C, part one, we're to complete the table for the missing value of L squared. Well, this is 0 0.081 squared, which comes out at 6.6 .6 times 10 to the minus 3. But that appears in the heading of the column, so we don't need to put it in the table. For part two, we're told each length is measured to the nearest millimetre, we're to determine the percentage uncertainty in L squared for 0 0.049 metres. Well, this is, for L, it is 1 over 49. Whoops, 49. Try again. 1 over 49 times 100 to give the percentage uncertainty in L and this comes out at 2%, but then in L squared, we would have 2 times this, 2 times 2%, 2 which gives plus or minus 4%. In D, we're to plot the missing point and draw the straight line of best fit, then find the gradient of the line of best fit. Well, I'll just try to do a rough sketch of what I've got. I've got my line going something like this, but the axes are a little bit complicated. Here, I've got that going through at about 12. This is our resistance in ohms. And going up to around about 58. So this then is 46 along here. We're starting at 2 and going as far as 10. So this then is 8, but times 10 to the minus 3. So the gradient, do do as big a triangle as you possibly can. The gradient then I get to be 46 over 8 times 10 to the minus 3, which comes out at 5750. We're not asked for the units, but the units would be ohms, metres to the minus 2. In E, we have that resistance R is equal to resistivity rho over the volume V times L squared. We're to use our previous answer, and the volume is 1.9 times 10 to the minus 5 cubic metres, to find a value for resistivity rho. Okay, well from this expression, we can rearrange to rho over v is equal to r over l squared. But r over l squared was our gradient, changing y of r over changing x of l squared. That is the gradient. So then we can say that the resistivity rho is v times the gradient. This is 1.9 times 10 to the minus 5 times 5750, which comes out at 0 0.11 ohm meters.